What up, peeps? Welcome to another video. What up, peeps? What up? <laughs> if you're new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, smash that bell for notifications, and we want to give a special, special shout out. Um, Little, little Shirley. Little Shirley, aka Skylar. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We love you. You're so cute. You, you are girl. like your mama. You are Little Shirley. So it was so good to see you today. And you know you're such a beautiful, smart, intelligent young lady. Keep on putting God first. And you know you you got great family. Um, you know we love the Thomases. Your mom is like my little sister, so we love you guys. So shout out to you, Skylar. For all the tea. <laughs> oh yeah. And and little Skylar. She was giving me all the tea. Little girls are so funny, aren't they? They be giving you all the tea. So if you ever want to know any tea from somebody, a little girl is sitting there soaking up all the tea, and they're going to tell you everything. They're going to just be like, and you know, not even asking. You're just like, what's going on? Well, so did you know? Da -da -da -da? And I was just over here like, taking it all. Taking it all in. It all in. <laughs> but you know what? That's what I used to do to my mom. My, well, my mom, when we used to go um, to our cousin's house, like me and my cousin Tracy, they literally called us Barbara Walters and Connie Chung because we would be sitting back there taking it all in. They called us the reporters because they were like, well, they they know they're going to tell, you know, their their grandmas. So we, we just sat back there and soaked up all the tea. We don't even, I don't even remember what they was talking about, but I could not wait to go report back to my grandma. Like, grandma, did you know? Da, 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 da. So it's a girl thing. Girls are like that, aren't they? Telling us all the tea. Gossiping? Nah, it's, it's the gossiping. That's all it is, gossiping. Nah, I think it's tea just ain't gossip. the tea, okay? Tea is gossip, no matter the how you tea. look at it. Yeah, tea is gossip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Even though it might be true, it's still gossip. Uh, the tea. Okay, yeah. the tea sometimes be real. It'd be <laughs> <laughs> the tea be so like, I don't know, and it's so crazy because like, I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with you, but just like hearing, I don't know. It's just something girls do. Yeah. But the guys like that too. Not some, all guys. Not all guys. I'm saying some men are like all up in the tea too. They'll tell you more stuff than the women. They're like, do do do. Not me. So I don't I'm know. Caring less. He's playing his game. That's why he's like, his head is down there. He's playing this little, what is it called? Y'all know about this. Y'all know anything about this? Y'all don't know about this. <laughs> so it's Saturday. Right now we are waiting um, to go eat. I haven't eaten anything all day. What time is it? It's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like eat. four or five o'clock. I don't know what time it is. Yeah, I'm hungry. So Hacienda is our local um chain of Go to. American American Mex American Mexican restaurants they have so well the go-to is if you're ever around um Michigan is there anything in, in Michigan is your house in Michigan 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 or Michigan City Michigan Hacienda? Yeah. I don't think there's Haciendas in Michigan, so you have to come to Indiana. If you come to Indiana... You know, I don't recall a Hacienda in Yeah, Michigan. I don't think there is. So if you ever come to Indiana, make sure to go to Hacienda. It's American Mexican food, um, and you got to get the ranch. Like, I know, in, like, my, my friend Erica, if you're watching Erica, you know, she's like, that is not Mexican food. It doesn't, you don't eat chips with ranch. I oh. know. Yeah, she was like, that is not authentic Mexican food. But you know what? It's good with the chips and ranch, so make sure you have some chips and ranch. And I know you're hungry right now. Talking about this food, I bet you're super hungry. I know I am. I still make Yes. It. And so I would recommend, I think I'm going to get the mesquite chicken sandwich because it has bacon on oh, it and it's chicken definitely. sandwich. So I think that's what, like, I already got a plan, though. chicken sandwich with some fries. Some fries in disguise, but they're not fries in disguise. I don't know. So ain't that, no mother trucking going on. Ain't no fries in disguise. Yeah. Ain't the only ones got fries in disguise. And that's in Gary. That's our spot. We did not go thrifting per se today. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because I didn't want to go. You could have went. He did not want to go thrifting, y'all. He is not a real. I did not want to go. Huh? I did not want to go. He did not want to go. I wasn't going to So go. disappointing. I wanted to go to the bins today, but I just did not want to take that trek by myself. You could handle it. I know I could handle it, obviously. You got it. Obviously, I can handle it, you but um, I just felt like I wanted somebody to go with me. I even like asked my mom, and she's like, "No, nah, I ain't going to no Gary." So there we go. It but wasn't gonna happen today. He did not want to go thrifting today, 
but as you guys noticed, we are in, not in the Durango, but we're in the Audi today. Um, I got it detailed last week, so it's nice and clean, and yeah, we're in the Audi today. And my steering wheel cover, it has like some bling. Let me see if you guys can see. So you see that it's got some bling on it, but it makes my hands so sore, so I just got this like red steering wheel cover to go over it, so yeah. Um, and so while he was at home, I was like, after I went to the post office, um, okay, after I went to the post <laughs> office, no, because I got a, a notification, I was like, oh, is that our table? But it was this Poshmark. But, um, after I went to the post office, I dropped him off and I was like, I'm about to run the street. So I was so disappointed because my local spot where I used to go thrifting, like I used to find like the good deals there. I went there and they messed around. Their prices are so high. I was like, I just could not buy anything. There was like this cute cheetah, like fleece duster thing that would look cute for myself. And I was like, how much is it? She was like, $10. I was like, see you guys later. Have a great day. I was not going to pay $10 for that. I don't know. After you get like, if you've ever been to the Goodwill Outlet, you know what I'm talking about. You can't, you just, you just don't feel like paying up. <laughs> you randomly wave. <laughs> random. <laughs> He's random. So, that is, I'm just talking away. That's all right. That's what you want to do. What about you? I'm just sitting there chilling. What's new with you? Making them sales, making them bangers. Selling them bangers. Tell All them what you time. just did, what you just sold. Oh, some rock revival jeans. Y'all real quick playing. I be putting bangers on my site. Y'all need to go. Y'all need to go and get y'all some of them goods. Cause uh, come on, check out. Get some of my merch. <laughs> Here, put those plug in. Plug it in. Three nine two blur lines. Come and get some of my merch. Go to at Del Pompey for your Poshmark closet hookup. You gonna get that hookup? You gonna get it? All you gotta do is come and check it out. You know, just make an offer. I'm not keeping nothing. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to break the bank. Just come and get you some of this merch. He putting all. His, <laughs> he's putting all his plug in here. <laughs> yesterday we went. What did we do yesterday? Went over Romero's. Yeah. Well, he hasn't been on here with us, so we just gonna tell his business. No, let him tell his own business. See, now you go gossiping again. See, don't you always try to tell That's not gossiping. It was like great news. Tea. Let him tell his own news. It was great. Okay, so <laughs> just pretend you didn't hear that. Because Remo, he he hasn't been with us um, out and he's about. He's taking care of business. He's taking care of business. And then when you guys hear what's been going on with him, then you'll be happy. So we'll just leave it like that. It's all good. And you know what? <laughs> when we went, when we went, um, it's crazy. The clouds look crazy, don't they? Yeah. When we went to um, Gary last week, we stopped at Popcorn World. Popcorn World. How was that? Tell them about Popcorn World. Popcorn World. We told y'all about Popcorn Did World. Did we? With our haul video. I haven't showed them. I showed them some. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's see, right. I slip forgot. In, slip in. You guys are like. There ain't even no snow on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit a deer. Oh, oh. the deer hit me. Oh yeah, that's there news. Me. That's news. That's some that's some tea for you. That's the tea. That's the latest tea I hit. A deer hit me. <laughs> a deer hit him. Put a nice little dent in my stuff, but I was able to get that dent out. Oh yeah. So you can't really tell at all? Yeah, you can a tell. A little bit, but just a little bit. You know, when I get ready to sell it, nobody would never knows the difference. If I sell it. I like that car. I might keep it. So let me tell you a funny story while we're waiting for this. The first time ever hitting a deer, we were in. You want to tell him about that? No, you talking about that. If you guys know Dale, he likes animals. I don't know. He likes messing with animals for some reason. I've never met anybody that likes messing with animals the way that Dale Pompey likes messing I with told animals. You, that's because they don't have a soul. <laughs> he, he will literally mess with animals. Like, okay. And I'll be still. I mean. Is there still a shock factor with me that we've been married? I don't know if the shock factor, I think the shock <laughs> factor and wore off. I recognize that he likes to muscle animals. Like I'm, when I'm talking about muscle animals, he, <laughs> I've never, like, it took me the longest. I just, I was so shocked, you know, cause I, animals, <laughs> he will like do some. <laughs> I'm not torturing no animals. No, he'll, he'll like mess with them. Like, 
Okay, you know they're running out there. He'll just like lay on the horn, and they're just in like the they'll be just jumping and stuff. Or like if like there'll be geese in the road, he'll pull up next to them, he'll the roll down the window, and he'll be like, "Hey, move" or something like that. And they're just like, "Ah, it's so it's funny." Like, Get out of here! You're moving too slow. And then, <laughs> why was it? Why was it? It's always deer for some reason. When those deers, you were like laying on the horn, and they were run up against the fence and stuff. Like, he was moving. laughing like. If you guys ever want to hear Dale laugh like so hard, I bet it, it 99% it has to do with an animal. That's when he will like cry. He will be like the craziest when he like mess with the animal. He gets like this, like this glee from it. That's because it's, they don't have a soul. I'm not hurting their feelings. I'm not offending them. Hey, come on with them. <laughs> and he has you can't me. do that with people. He has me doing that a little bit too. No, you like, got yourself doing that. <laughs> I ain't got you doing that. No, he has me doing a little nah. bit. Because now sometimes, like, you know, if we're driving, if there's like a cow or something like that, I run on the one like, move. That's her own doing. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's her own doing. <laughs> so he, I've never messed with animals until, you know, I guess he's rubbing off on me about messing with animals. It's funny. Mm. Or like horses or something like that. Like, nay. No, that's and then only it's you. like, I don't do that. The, the animals are just looking. Nah. I only mess with them when they're in the road. I oh, don't know. It's funny times. It shouldn't be in the road. That's my domain. Get out of the road. Funny Stay times. The Tell them about the deer, though. The, the the Back to the original story about the deer. Yeah, like, the first time deer. hitting the deer when you hit the deer that's in the first car. first time I ever hit a deer in the car. I've been living in the country all my life. That was the first time I ever hit a deer. And I actually hit him. It was winter time, And we was rolling on down the road. Probably rolling about 50, 55. Snow on the ground. And that deer come out in the road trying to cross. He had no insurance. I did, but I took him out. I took that dude out. I tore that Impala up, but I was able to fix it. Tore the front end up, and I went out and got some new parts and fixed it. But I got out, I checked that deer out, made sure that he was all right. Found out he was all right, and I slapped him real good. <laughs> he so slapped the deer that he did. So that's for getting in the road. <laughs> that's for tearing up the car. He was like, pop. <laughs> Man, I, I gave him a good slap, too. He slapped that mm. deer. <laughs> below if you've ever slapped a deer i mean because i think i lost it. i think <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a nice car like it was it was very nice and like we probably had it let me see it was a 2002 we probably had it in 2000 so we only had it maybe for like a year and this deer done messed around and messed up the car man and dale just got out heels i went out and got a new, bought a new headlight i think a headlight a grill and the front bumper cover. Yeah. Change all that stuff on there. Change it up. But I Keep mean. Keep on moving. He said, whap, slap that deer. So I'm sure, I don't know. There might be somebody out there who slapped a deer. But, uh. That's where Sophie gets it from. <laughs> what does she do? She's slamming mice. Oh, yeah. And now. <laughs> he passed down the trade of messing with animals. I think, you know what? And my nephew, I remember him when he was little. He was. <laughs> doing stuff to frogs like slamming frogs so they have this thing about animals and sophie she has a thing about animals like mice where dale has like a video on youtube like from an old account of her was like slamming some mice thing like this little cabinet they, they were in there in the cabinet. and it was outside because we live in the country and like you know mice are like eek for me i don't like mice a metal cabinet and she there must have been about five mice down in that cabinet they couldn't get out and she was, she was slamming that door because she'd open up the door. It was laying down. She'd open up that door and she'd slam that door real hard. <laughs> and it was a metal cabinet, so it was loud. Poor little mice. And people were making comments on the video like, that Poor is torture. Yeah, she, was wasn't it. she was torturing. I don't torture animals. <laughs> she was torturing them animals. She, she was a kid. She was little. She was like, and what, she, she, seven? She no, six, she five, had, six. And she was little. She was real young. I don't know. She just had on these boots, like, what too. What are you doing? Just slamming mice. <laughs> <laughs> Look down in there. A bunch of mice down in there. She's slamming the door. Just making them just. They were they were just in shock. Little hearts probably racing. Man. And poor little mice. Wow. I like that Paisley shirt. Um, Man, they need to come on. What I know. was we? I don't know. I, they text whatever. Oh, right here. All right, we're our table's ready. So, just a quick thing. We're about to go eat. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Peace.